The effective value of an alternating current is calculated by comparing it with direct current. The comparison is based on the amount of heat produced by each current under identical conditions. An AC current with a peak value of 10 amps will be constantly varying between 0 and 10 amps. So a steady DC current of 10 amps will make a resistor hotter than will the AC current with a peak of 10 amps. To make the resistor as hot with an AC current, its peak value must be higher, so that its mean value can be 10 amps. This mean value is termed the root mean square, or RMS value. As the current or voltage rises from zero to maximum in 90 degrees of phase angle, the mean value will occur at the midway point of 45 degrees. As the values follow a sine curve, then the value at 45 degrees can be calculated using the formula sine equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. In our case, the hypotenuse is equal to the peak value and the opposite is equal to the mean value. The sine of 45 degrees is 0 0.707. So in our case, 0 0.707 equals the mean value divided by the peak value. By transforming the formula, we can say that the mean or RMS value of alternating current or voltage with a sinusoidal waveform is given by the formula RMS equals 0 0.707 multiplied by the peak value. In our earlier example, the AC with a peak value of 10 amps has an RMS value of 10 multiplied by 0 0.707 or 7.07 .07 amps which explains why it produces less heat than the 10 amp DC current. Most AC supply values are given in RMS terms. Ammeters and voltmeters measuring AC are normally calibrated in RMS values. Aircraft AC generators normally operate at an RMS voltage of 115 volts. What to the nearest volt will be the peak voltage? Type your answer in the box and click on Enter.